No dobrze, no to ruszamy. E, musimy się po prostu wrócić do windy i jechać do góry. Okazuje się, że te karty to były... Właśnie. Po to. E, main hall. Upper deck. B1? A czemu B1 znowu? Hmm. A, bo to jest mostek. Ciekawe, że pamięci nie stracił i próbował nas powolnić. Hmm. Ten też martwy? O, ale mostek fajny. Martwy. Zobaczcie, ile to czasu, jeżeli oni tacy wysuszeni są. Jestem. Jestem. With the probes, they're over the battlefield. I do have visuals from the Cyclops here, but I can't do everything on my own. Oh, wait. Activity's increasing. They're coming. Are you helping or not? Come on, Yasna. It's about to start. I can't wait any longer. But why, Rahitra? What for? I'm aware that I may lose communications. The Cyclops won't stop fighting, but I'll lose visuals. You understand? That's not what I asked. Yasta, make a decision. Here and now. Hmm. Come on. How's it gonna be? No. You're on your own. I'm gonna call my commander. Fine, suit yourself. Just don't disturb me. Where can I find you can handle it? Czemu chcę tak walczyć? No wtedy walczyliśmy, no ale moglibyśmy stąd odlecieć po prostu. Czekajcie, co my mamy zrobić? To jest czwórka, chyba mamy czwórkę. I... D, tak? May I suggest you? Ah, did you hear that? Yes, yes. Try not to. Oh, what a fucking mess. I must check on him. Copy that. The waiting contact. Hmm. Rahitra? What's going on? I don't understand. It was going so well. Is it over now? The field held? It got so many of them. <gasps> it's gone completely mad. Now it's wandering around aimlessly. Sounds familiar. They look... enraged. Yeah, pissed off like hell. Listen, I connected with my astrogator. We need to talk about what's next. I won't leave it like this. I guarantee you. Rahitra, your men are on their way here. On the Invincible. I've heard that before. Turns out it was true all along. Uh. They're flying here. Do you hear me? We'll sort everything out. 
So Horde Pack is flying here with company? What an honor. And when will they arrive, if I may ask? We anticipate they'll arrive in a few days. A few days? That's a lot of time for me. I realize. We'll come back to that. But let me go back to the radio. I'll return soon. Tam była mowa, że chyba do trzech dni, nie? Spodziewał się nowik ich, tak obliczą. I'm back. The fight is over. Well, I think I know the outcome. And we're just bringing increased activity from the cloud. Yes. A complete fiasco. This was to be expected. You didn't expect the attempt to succeed, did you? Hmm. If you had seen Mahitra, it was like all the energy had drained out of him. Uh, maybe that's a good thing. Should cool his impulsiveness, right? I guess so. Do you think he's finally ready to talk? I'd like to talk to him. Okay, okay. I'm switching you to the bridge. He should be able to hear you now. Hello, Condor. This is Astrogator Novik, commander of the IC Dragonfly ship. I repeat, this is Astrogator Novik to the crew of the USCA Condor. Oh, let's see, Jay. I'm on the ship. Come in. Could you stop with all this, Rohitra, Engineer Rohitra? Among our crew, I'm the last man standing, so to speak, which I guess makes me commander. Who would have thought? In that case, I'm making an official request to join our forces. To prevent the danger that threatens both sides. Oh, enough, Novik. That's enough. I agree. Officially and all that jazz. We're already taking steps to eliminate the threat. So far, however, your crew has not been cooperative. Anyway, we stopped playing defense and took the fight to them. The cloud suffered significant losses. As a counterattack, though, it disrupted our communications. <laughs> playing defense sounds a lot better than we're getting our asses kicked. Doctor, not now, please. No, it's true. Fighting against the cloud is exceptionally difficult. But any opponent can be defeated. All it takes is the right tool. Meaning what exactly? Let me remind you that we're dealing with a dispersed entity whose technological prowess is still unknown. And it has so far destabilized every machine sent its way. Even the most specialized ones. That's why I'll keep it simple this time. No electro brains, no memory, only pure energy. You still have not seen me later. What? A nuclear weapon? Seriously? Damn right. I won't leave all this unresolved. How many warheads do you have? 54. From 30 kilos to 100 megatons. Oh. That's quite an arsenal. We really do have enough power. That's an understatement, Doctor. And a man of energy could rip the planet to pieces. I'm not an idiot. I won't send everything at once. I'm preparing eight smaller warheads to start with. And then? We'll see. Are you sure this is a good idea, Rahitra? <sighs> Listen, oh, yeah, yes, uh... I know how it must look to you. A hot-headed guy from the Alliance who wants to use nukes. But put yourself in my shoes. I have two dozen hours tops of complete situational awareness. I'm taking action here and now based on my best judgment. I don't know what will happen later. Where will I wake up? In what condition? So I'm going to avenge my people before that happens and ensure the safety of those who survived. They all deserve better than this. You would do anything for your crew. I understand how you feel, but you can't approach this problem in terms of revenge. We are dealing with creations of necro evolution, dead evolution, and probably non sentient ones. Taking revenge on the cloud is like whipping the ocean for sinking the ship. Exactly. Like Xerxes, we won't gain anything from a mindless attack. 
On the other hand, knowledge about these creations may turn out to be crucial in helping their victims. In helping you, Rahitra. My memory, you could... It's possible. Well, thank you. What for? I haven't done anything. <laughs> for reminding me of my mom. But as long as the cloud is a threat to others, my condition comes second. You, Rahitra, are still reasoning as though we were standing face to face with a thinking opponent. What if these beings are not our enemy at all? Oh, good one. Are you forgetting how many of us they've already killed? I will never forget, Rahitra. So I can't help feeling that they operate without any strategic plan. They attack from one incident to another. They're non-sentient, as the doctor put it. So what, they're stupid? And that's why they can't be hostile? It's absolute nonsense. No. It could be. Yes, sir. What do you think? Hmm. They're not stupid or hostile, but rather programmed to react. To radio waves, to brain waves. How? They're breaking down communications to thwart the exchange of information. So... They see no difference between a man and a machine? The they take our brains for transmitters. That's why they're attacking us? Exactly. Wait, what species are you talking about? Dr. Yasin found various traces of conflict, lasting for hundreds of thousands of generations. Inna maszyna, miejscowa fauna. Lista jest długa, nie wiem co wybrać. Both living organisms and mechanical creators of the cloud, as well as other products of dead evolution. Oh, the list is quite long. Hang on, creators? Yes, millions of years ago, someone must have built primordial mechanisms. Machines could have self-built in successive generations, but something must have created them first. I don't buy it. It's like some robot fables. No, Rachel, these are no fables. We have gathered evidence for all this. <sighs> How did these machines even get here? Who built them? Our cyberneticist had a hypothesis before he lost consciousness. About the Lyrans. Yes, that one. Lyrans. Lyrans. It does ring a bell. Wasn't there a book about them? The Craven's monograph. According to his notes, before the explosion of Zeta Lyra, the sixth planet of the system was inhabited by intelligent beings. Let's say their scout ship landed here under a disaster. Some kind of reactor explosion, chain reaction. Suffice to say, the wreckage that landed on Regis 3 had no living beings on board. <sighs> Only the machine survived. And then what? They started bashing in each other's tin heads? Doesn't make much sense to me. Machines don't have emotions. They don't argue. First things first. Millions of years ago, some highly advanced race sent machines to Regis III. And these were specialized homeostatic mechanisms, left with no one to command them. As an engineer, you know well how it is. A robot does what it needs to do, whether it serves someone or not. At first, they probably just repaired themselves or built a home for their dead masters. Until something forced them to change. Exactly. Certain types of predator eat anything that moves. So I'm betting they were attacked by a local fauna. The key was that these machines had the ability to produce others as needed. To combat, say, flying reptiles, they started producing flying machines. That still doesn't explain why they started fighting among themselves. Since they already defeated the living organisms, why keep producing themselves? It makes no sense. Hmm, ciężkie wybory, ciężkie wybory. Poczekajcie. W skrócie, tak działa ewolucja? W sumie mówimy cały czas o ewolucji. Kryzys. Hmm. Szczy w skrócie, szczegółowo. Szczegółowo? What's a guiding principle of a homeostat? Uh, I don't... Uh, that was a rhetorical question. It's all about survival and changing conditions. 
even the harshest ones. Further forms of necroevolution were no longer threatened by the local fauna, but they had to find sources of energy and materials from which they could produce replacement parts and offspring. Originally, their descendants were undoubtedly powered by radiant radiation, but on Regis, there were no radioactive elements at all. Ah, oh, sounds familiar. When the energy runs out, you have to wheel and deal. Yes, the default source wasn't available anywhere. So they had to look for an alternative. There was a severe energy crisis and, and a conflict among the machines. Simply put, they fought to survive. Exist. That's what evolution is all about. About selection. Wait, Doctor. We've established that these beings are mindless. Shouldn't the organisms with the most developed nervous systems win the game of evolution? In this case, instead of a nervous system, there was some kind of electrical one. But the principle remains the same. Uh, not exactly, sir. The most advanced of the mechanisms that landed here derived energy from their own radioactive resources. Simpler devices, such as small repair systems, could have had solar panels. And in that case, would have had a significant advantage over the others. But the other ones could defend themselves. They could attack. With atomic power. Yes, that's possible. But I see it differently. In necroevolution, the most successful beings were those that excelled in miniaturization above all else. Also, the sedentary creations. The former gave rise to the cloud which the flies form when necessary, in pursuit of a common interest. Meanwhile, the sedentary ones gave rise to a peculiar species of metallic vegetation. Those structures formed the city. So, it's still functional? No. For some reason, the city lost a fight for survival. And now, there are only rusting remains. Only one form survived. The microbots that conquered the land on Regis Three. So, these flies just adapted best? To the conditions of this planet. Yes, that's how it works. So, to summarize, some alien race sent advanced robots to Regis 3. Local dinosaur-like monsters tried to eat them. So the robots produced other robots, which produced more and more robots, until they fell victim to their own overproduction. After a number of iterations and wars for resources, they spat out the murderous cloud, which took over the planet. Indeed. To put it simply... For me, the matter is perfectly clear. It makes no sense to bomb these creatures. I would even say it's a greater danger to us than to them. But how else do you imagine defeating the cloud? Well, that's the thing. I don't. It's invincible. Yes, sir. Do you agree? Well... Yeah, I very much agree. Another attack would make no difference. Just a few flies are enough for the cloud to regenerate. What if we destroy their nests? No, Ritra. Unless we want to destroy the entire planet, it's impossible to eliminate them all. And even then, there's no guarantee they would die in space. After all, the flies need nowhere, water or food, only solar energy. <sighs> but what else can we do if not attack? O kurczę, nie wiem. Um, uważam, że to ewakuować się stąd może mu nie, nie podejść, bo on też trochę się opanował. Możemy spróbować. We can leave this place and never come back. We have a lander. Sorry, but I'm not going anywhere. You on the other hand? I'm surprised you didn't evacuate already. Well, I had to make sure you won't do something you'll deeply regret. Huh. I'm done. Ale to nic ci nie da. I can't. That was close. I'm suspending all actions leading to conflict. But what should I do now? Nice, udało się. All of us? Yes. Your men are welcome on board.
No tylko co, on teraz tak, niezwyciężony i nie wie, co się dzieje, przylecą tutaj i historia się zacznie na nowo. Hmm. I'm going back. And you, Hitra? Are you flying with us? You actually mean it? Damn. Thank you. But I can't leave just before my people arrive. I have to tell them about the cloud, necro evolution, this whole mess. But you... I can handle it, Jasna. I'll take the stimulants and hold out until they arrive. Whatever it takes to stay awake. Maybe I can write it all down. Wouldn't it be better if you took my diary? It contains everything I've learned. Huh. As long as your commander doesn't mind. Please take it, Comrade Ritra. There are no more factions on this forsaken planet. We're all just people here. Thank you. For this and for everything else. Kurcza. No, może mogliśmy z nim zostać. I've prepared Hopper for departure, but there's still the matter of access to the landing pad on the back. Novik, how do you know about our landing pad? Well, you know what they say? Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Astrogator likes big ships. <laughs> right. Anyway, someone has to break the force field and open the dome. The field automatically deactivates when the dome is open. It's the same switch on the control station. All right. Sounds simple enough. Hmm. Urchytra, no kurczę. No ale taka prawda właśnie, tam ci przylecą i się wpakują w bag, no. Kurczę. Jeszcze jakieś dobre miejsce na miniaturę. Hmm. No nic, podobno jest 11 zakończeń. Jeszcze raz to powtórzę. Możemy spróbować innych. Zobaczymy. Nie wiem, okay, jak... nie wiem jeszcze, jak to się skończy, tak na dobrą sprawę. Everything's ready, Astrogator. Copy that. Hopper is on its way. Good luck, Rehitra. Thanks. I'm gonna need it. Have a safe flight, Jasna. Don't ask. The Commonwealth ain't all that bad. <laughs> Kurczę, no nie wiem, no wydaje mi się, że chyba dobrze nam poszło. No i zobaczymy. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yes. We've reconnected. Great. Hopper is just landing. Wow, already? It went smoothly. The landing pad is generous in proportion. <sighs> like everything here. Hey, I can see Hopper. I can't believe I'm finally coming back to you. I'm very happy to hear it, Yasna. Me too, it's just... It was such a... Long and difficult mission. Hmm. Gdzie się damy? Are you ready? I'll just close the hatch and. <gasps> A skąd my to mamy? Kurczę, tak jak chciałam wyrzucić ten słoik z tymi muszkami. Tak teraz nie wiem, bo jeżeli jest nadzieja na badania nad nimi, no ale wiecie, często jak to się kończy, zatrzymamy ten słoik. I może to będzie błąd, ale... Zatrzymam go. Nie podoba mi się ta muzyka. Po dokonaniu tego wyboru. Ready. Copy that. Hopper is taking off in three, two, one.
No i proszę państwa, zostaliśmy troszeczkę chyba bez odpowiedzi. No nic, w każdym razie tak, ruchy teraz żyje. Nie udało nam się uratować wszystkich członków załogi, chociaż ja nie mam pewności, czy w ogóle była taka możliwość. Prawda? Rochytra w każdym razie żyje, górski chyba z tego co pamiętam też, prawda? No i nie dopuściliśmy do bombardowania tej planety. To wygląda w ten sposób. Możemy jeszcze sobie przetestować e, inne zakończenia, gdybyśmy poprowadzili e, inaczej kwestie dialogowe. Wydaje mi się, że to jest fajne załączy, e, zakończenie. Myślałam, że może się czegoś dowiem, będzie coś tutaj po, po napisach. Pominiemy? Pominiemy? Pominęliśmy. Jednak nic nie ma, czyli nie wiemy e, czym skutkuje e, zabranie ze sobą tych muszek. W ten sposób to wygląda. A jak zrobimy kontynuuj grę? Czy będziemy znów przed rozmową z Rochytrą? Ku niedowierzeniu Rochytry chmura pokonuje cyklopa. No właśnie i to, to już powinno dać mu do zrozumienia. We anticipate they'll arrive in a few days. A few days? That's a lot of time for me. I realize. We'll come back to that. Let me go back to the radio. I'll return soon. No właśnie, dobrze. Czyli radio odbywamy tę rozmowę. Teraz spróbujemy e, zrobić tak, by potoczyła się inaczej. Co to było? D4. Aha, ok, to już połączeni jesteśmy. Yes, I have the impression you're the one in a rush now. I don't know exactly. A few days tops. Can I okay. talk to you now? With Rohitra? Okay, okay. I'm switching you to the bridge. He should be able to hear you now. Hello, mm -hmm. Condor. This is Astrid. This is my ship and my people. And it's my goddamn duty to avenge them. Period. Yasna, you know you understand. You like me. You would do anything for your crew. No i proszę, już tutaj rozmowa wygląda inaczej. E, no i mamy tak. Rozumiem, też chciałabym ich pomścić. Wcześniej wybraliśmy środkową opcję. To jest taka... Pff, no może nie neutralna, ale po środku. A tu idziemy w przeciwną mańkę. To spróbujemy najpierw, oczywiście później tego też spróbujemy, czyli no, poprzeć go całkowicie. Ale powiedzmy, że zemsta czy nie, chmura zagraża ludzkości, to go raczej pchnie w stronę wystrzelenia atomowych. Taking revenge on the cloud is like whipping the ocean for sinking a ship. Exactly, like Xerxes. That's why I would consider this problem in the category of neutralization, not vengeance. After all, nothing guarantees the flies will stay on Regis Three if they continue to evolve. Wait a minute, Doctor. Even if they were to master space navigation, wouldn't it take hundreds of thousands of years? Millions of years. Even considering the evolutionary timeline, however, they could threaten humanity much sooner by sheer chance. Not a chance I'm willing to take. Let's not overreact. If we factor in sheer chance, we might as well get killed by a meteor. No, Novik. It's not a meteor or an ocean or a storm. They don't hunt or degrade or cripple you mentally. You and Hitra are still reasoning as though we were standing face to face with a thinking opponent. What if these beings are not our enemy at all? Oh, good one. Are you forgetting how many of us they've already killed? I will never forget for Hitra. So I can't help feeling that they operate without any strategic plan. They attack from one incident to another. They're non-sentient, as the doctor put it. 
So what, they're stupid? And that's why they can't be hostile? It's absolute nonsense. Well, it could be. Yes, sir. What do you think? Są wrogami, nawet jeśli o tym nie wiedzą. No tak, no na przykład ktoś może spotkać się, prawda, zebrać próbki i zabrać ze sobą. To tak odnośnie tego, że kiedy będą nam zagrażać. Sentient or not, they are the enemies of all protein life. Our go, our enemies. Just like that. Yes. Please remember what we've learned. Before the machines came to read us three, this planet was teeming with life. Before the cloud wiped out all its competition. Wait, what species are you talking about? Huh, only the machines survived. And then what? They started bashing in each other's tin heads? Doesn't make much sense to me. Machines don't have emotions. They don't argue. Hmm. Czyli wybierając tę opcję, to widzę, że możemy jeszcze wyjść... E, dobra, ja chciałam powiedzieć wyjść na prostą. Wychodzi na to, że jeszcze możemy odwieźć go od zrzucenia atomowego. Teraz nie wiem, co wybrać właśnie, bo teraz tak. Teorię e, nekroewolucji wybraliśmy wcześniej, to jest znowu dyskusja i może mu to przetłumaczymy. Nie ma co spekulować, no to nie przedstawiamy mu danych, prawda? I teraz, kurczę, ale jestem ciekawa, czy to pójdzie w tę samą stronę. Wydaje mi się dobrego zakończenia. Niestety nie mogę przywinąć linii dialogowych, które już znamy. Dobra, to tutaj opowiemy w skrócie. What is the guiding principle of a homeostat? To survive. Apparently the machines pose a threat to one another. Yes, sir. Do you agree? Well... If this is gonna work, the attack must be all out. What are you saying, Doctor? After a sufficiently powerful explosion, the ocean waters will begin to vaporize cloud cover will increase the albedo will rise and the resident symbionts won't be able to provide the minimum energy needed for reproduction so yes we can destroy the cloud ha, i knew it along with ourselves oh you don't think we can defeat them and survive technically we'd have to wipe out the entire planet that's not our goal here, is it? No, it's not. So, you think there's no point trying with smaller charges? Uuu, i tu się okazuje, że zupełnie poszliśmy w przeciwną mańkę. Ale przyznajcie sami, chcecie zobaczyć to bombardowanie. Spróbować nie zaszkodzi. No dobra, to ja wam pokażę w takim razie dwa. Skoro było tak, myślałam, że... Ha, ale my tu giniemy. Kurczę, no zobaczymy. Pokażę wam dwa. Jak będziecie przychodzić tę gierkę, to jest sporo zakończeń. I guess it won't hurt to try with a few small missiles. You guess, Doctor? Are you sure you want to risk it just to find out? It's not really a big risk, sir. Well, I still have significant concerns. The other hmm. one there, not me. Maybe I'm not seeing the whole picture. Well, indeed, Novik. I knew Jasna would understand. Now give me a minute. I'm almost done. Uh huh. No, so what's going to happen? But just, just now, I'm just going to read them once. The ones on the launch control unit. Is probably a bit of a mess. Hmm. Curious how it's going to look. Yeah, I see. Do I use them to launch the rockets? Not yet. We use a button for that. The red one. To co, lecimy. Watch your eyes.
przetrwają, prawda? Patrzcie na to. Teraz dopiero atakują, patrzcie. O kurczę, ale fala. No, ciekawe. Ciekawe. Czekamy. Jeszcze chwilę zaczekamy. Czyli tak, on z nami tam współpracuje. Podejrzewam, że jak będziemy go tam wyzywać, jeśli da się do niego odzywać i cały czas mu zaprzeczać, to... Nie będziemy próbować go przekonać, to on po prostu to wysadzi szybciej i zakończy się to w ten sam sposób. No nie wiem. Gdzie on jest? Zdąży czy nie? No chciałabym zaczekać, ale widzę, że nic się nie dzieje. Nim on ich wybudzi, bo przecież ich położył. Nie wiem, nic się nie dzieje. Nie wzięliśmy ze sobą muszek. W ogóle nie było opcji, by zabrać je ze sobą, ponieważ uznała, że są zagrożeniem, tak czy inaczej. Okej. Okay. No i dobrze, czyli to by było kolejne zakończenie. Jeszcze sobie spróbujemy jedno. Yes, do you agree? Well? Yeah. I very much agree. Another attack would make no difference. Just a few flies are enough for the cloud to regenerate. What if we destroy their nests? 
No, Retra. Unless we want to destroy the entire planet, it's impossible to eliminate them all. And even then, there's no guarantee they would die in space. No. Our heads are armed. One more press of a button. I'm just in your family. She's not in there. I can't. Uh, that was close. Nice. I'm suspending all actions leading to conflict. But what should I do now? Well, we have a lander. So you can get to the Dragonfly. Oh. All of us? Yes. Your men are welcome on board. Dobra, poczekamy z nim na niezwyciężonego. I'm staying. What? What? I'm staying here. We'll wait for the invincible together. Yes, sir. Are you sure? Someone has to warn them, Astrogator. And we're hit for as well. Don't sugarcoat it, Yasna. I think we're all aware of my condition. Yes, the doctor reported it. Because of this and many other reasons, I feel I must stay. Może to jest nawet lepsze zakończenie od tego pierwszego. Które mieliśmy. O kurczę, poczekajcie, czyli on poleci już w ogóle na nas nie będzie czekał. Ciekawe, co się z nami stanie później. Hmm. I mimo wszystko okazał się w porządku na sam koniec. Czyli te moje obawy. Hmm. Może nie były bezpodstawne, ale okazały się nieprawdziwe. I know I couldn't keep my mouth shut sometimes. But that doesn't change the fact that I'm extremely grateful to you. You could have flown away so many times, yet you stayed with me until the end. Thank you. You shouldn't thank me. It was my bounden duty as commander. My only regret is that I couldn't do more. And that some decisions... Please don't blame yourself anymore. There's no point. Now Koval and Gorski need you. Understood? Yes, Mom. Have a safe journey, Novik. Thank you, yes. Ej, super, czyli Koval i Gorski żyją. Super, no dobra. Okej. Okay. No, czyli, czyli chyba uratowaliśmy wszystkich tych, których mogliśmy uratować. No bo martwej osoby już raczej nie wskrzesimy, prawda? You look. Shit. I know. I'm really tired. That's what I meant to say. Because you're trying to be polite. The undeniable truth is, I look and feel. Like shit. Uh, will you close it for me? Uh, of course. Uh, support and stimulants will help you. I won't sleep. I can't. Hmm. I have to endure somehow. It, it won't get to that. Because I'll tell you everything all over again. No, yes, no. I know you all too well. I won't believe the cloud can't be defeated. Or help you convince the Invincibles crew you're innocent. You'll end up in custody, and they'll just repeat our mistakes. That's a strange feeling. Remaining conscious in the hibernator. <laughs> you clearly haven't visited the infirmary often. This is a standard procedure for a long recovery. Will you take another look at Landor and Spluskas? I'm doing 
doing it now. Don't worry. Thanks. Are you still wondering whether to go to the nest? This is probably your last chance. If you want to make it before the Invincible arrives, it would be good to have you here when they come. The journey there and back will take you about 12 hours. O kurczę, to my jeszcze możemy do gniazda jechać. No, I'm not going. I know it's a unique opportunity to get closer to this phenomenon. And I might never get another chance. But I've thought about it a lot and I'd rather stay here with you. Now rest. You should save your strength for their arrival. O kurczę, to teraz jestem ciekawa kolejnej opcji. Co by było, gdybyśmy wybrali się do gniazda? Lecą. Wszystko z nim w porządku, prawda? Nie wiemy, co się z nim stało. To było, że brak snu może go zabić. Trzy dni to miało być maksimum. No dobrze, tak wygląda kolejne zakończenie. A mnie jeszcze interesuje, co gdybyśmy wyruszyli do gniazda. No dobrze, spróbujemy jeszcze jednego z zakończenia. A mianowicie, co by było, gdyby Gdybyśmy wyruszyli do gniazda. Oczywiście przeskipuję ten cały dialog, który będzie wyglądał identycznie jak w tym dobrym zakończeniu w teorii i zobaczymy sobie, czy my w ogóle wyruszymy, czy może będzie pokazane, że wychodzimy z, z Kondora i zostawiamy naszego Rohytra. No właśnie, gniazdo. Już raz byliśmy tak blisko. I've been thinking about it for a while. And it's something I just have to do. I might be the only person who can make contact. To... to understand. I know. But you will come back. Won't you? I intend to. No i zobaczmy, czy będzie coś więcej. A jednak jest. A jednak jest. O kurczę, i one tutaj wszystkie, zobaczcie, poruszają, poruszają się. Wcześniej tak nie było. Ile co w tamtym kierunku?
Aha. To nasza twarz, czyli one jednak są świadome. Czyli jednak są świadome. No dobrze, wydaje mi się, że to jedno z ciekawszych jest jednak zakończeń. Jest takie prawilne, a to jest takie naprawdę ciekawe. Szkoda, że prawdopodobnie nie doczekamy się żadnej kontynuacji. Niestety, a można by było nawet nie na podstawie powieści, prawda, książki jakoś tę historię dalej e, rozkręcić. No dobrze, to taki mm, bonus na zakończenie tej całej serii. No musiałam to zobaczyć, byłam ciekawa. Trzymajcie się, do usłyszenia, hej hej.